this video, we take a look at the Casa Grande Neon Sign Park in Casa Grande, Arizona, which we visited in March 2020. The Casa Grande Neon Sign Park is located in a historic part of Casa Grande, right off old Arizona State Route 84. I think anyone who loves traveling old highways has an affinity for neon signs, and when I heard about this park, I just had to go and check it out. The Neon Sign Park preserves 14 classic signs, with all but one coming from Casa Grande. The one exception is the Dairy Queen Lips, which came from Route 66 in Holbrook, Arizona. While most of the signs in the park are from the 40s and 50s, the park itself is fairly new, having just opened in April 2019. These Dairy Queen cones are the newest signs in the park, coming from the late 1980s. Everything about the park was really well done, and even these benches were really cool using old tailgates to make the benches. The wall below the 1950s Casa Grande Photoshop sign lists donors who helped make the park possible. Earlier in the video I mentioned how the park is right off of old Arizona Highway 84. Route 84 is actually a very important highway in the history of our country probably bringing more people to Southern California than Route 66 did. A lot of people would use 84 as a shortcut coming to California on Highway 80, going from Tucson directly towards Southern California and bypassing the Phoenix area on their trip. The original Arizona Highway 84 signs are actually fairly unique in that they originally had a Native American swastika on the signs, and when the United States entered World War II, they had to take all the signs down and replace them. Each sign did have a plaque with it, giving the history of the sign. Overall, the park was really well done, and it's great that they're preserving America's neon heritage. You don't see a lot of neon signs anymore at all, and as I mentioned earlier, there's something great about seeing neon when you're on a road trip. For those wondering, the oldest sign in the park is the Goddard Shoe Store sign from 1945. But as great as a neon sign park is in the day, we decided to go have a quick dinner and come back and see it at night. The park at night is absolutely beautiful with the neon signs, though I can't help but wondering how many unsuspecting tourists have stopped looking for the Dairy Queen. If you're in the Casa Grande area, especially at night, and you love neon signs, this is definitely a place that you want to stop and check out. And there is an operating Dairy Queen just a few blocks away if the signs get you thinking about getting a blizzard. Well, that's our quick look at the Casa Grande Neon Sign Park. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up, consider subscribing, and we'll see you next week.